Hello! Happy holidays, everyone. No matter what culture or religion you hail from, I hope you and yours have a safe and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Diwali, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Muharram, and Happy Bodhi Day. In this quick little exercise, you can learn to design and animate holiday lighting effects. We're going to make them pulse and glow, as well as alternate. Now we're not finished with the animation programming guide yet. That series will continue on. I just wanted to make a standalone holiday related tutorial because I usually do something around the holidays. Now here's a demo of the finished effect. And we're going to render it all dynamically so you won't have to put a whole lot of HTML elements in your document. And you'll have complete control over the sizing, the shape, the colors, and the speed, and many other aspects of it. We're going to begin with the bare bones of an HTML document. And just at first, we're going to put in a div. And this div is going to contain all of the bulbs, all of the lights. We'll give it an ID equal to lights. This way you can move this div around. You can also make this a class if you want. You can move this div around and position it any way you like and all of the lights will take on that position. So inside of that div, I'm going to put a div statically at first, but we're going to render these divs dynamically. I'm going to give it a class equal to bulb because eventually we're going to have many bulbs in there and we want them all to adhere to this class of bulb. And up in the CSS, we're going to change the body background color to black just so we can see the bulbs and the lights real well. But you can have any background color you want. So in the next line down, we're going to start the class bulb. And I'm going to start with the width 20 pixels and the height of 20 pixels. And for now, I just want to get the shape right and the glow effect right. So I'm going to put the background color directly into this class at first, but then I'm going to alternate it later. So we'll just go with this green and we want the display to be inline block. That way they sit side by side. I'm going to give it a margin of zero pixels top and bottom and 10 pixels left and right. And if we render this, we'll see that we just have one little box or one little square. And you don't even have to use div elements. These can be any elements that you find to be the most semantically correct for this use. And list elements are really semantically used for creating lists. And div elements are just a generic container that you can use for anything. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger at first so we can see it a little bit better. So we'll make it width 50 and height 50. Then I'm going to set the border radius to 100% and then 4 pixels. Let's see what that gives us. So you can see you have something that looks like a bulb, but it's at a 45 degree angle. So what we can do to straighten that out, and really you can have any angle that you want on it, we're going to use the transform effect or transform property with the rotate function and I'm going to rotate that to negative 45 degrees and see what that gives us so now it's going straight up and down and you can also dynamically rotate them through the script that we're going to create in just a moment the script that's going to render a whole lot of bulbs we're going to render a whole lot of these bulb elements to the page through script instead of having them in the HTML or instead of managing them in the HTML. We'll manage them through script. But you can just put a whole bunch of bulbs directly in the HTML using this div. I'm going to put two shadow effects and they're separated by the comma here. The first shadow effect is going to put a little green glow off to the right of the bulb and this one will put a green glow off to the left of the bulb so let's see what that gives us so you can see now it's a glowing bulb now we're going to set out making the class bulb alternate a little bit by using the nth child CSS selector and in between parentheses we're going to first put odd so for all of the bulbs that are positioned at position 1, 3, and 5, and 7, so on and so forth. We're going to give those a background that's blue. We're going to set the opacity 
to a full one so it'll have full visibility at first then we're going to set the box shadow to make the glow effect and we're going to make the glow effect blue in that case so at this point really what i could do is remove the background here from the bulb class and i can remove the box shadow and now i should have one single blue glowing bulb okay now I'm going to put in a keyframes animation, which we've been learning a whole lot about with all of our recent tutorials lately. And this is called Bulb Pulse 1. We're going to take it from box shadow of blue to box shadow none. And the opacity 1, we're going to take that and animate it to opacity 0.3. Now all we have to do is add to this child odd the animation property to specify that we want bulb pulse 1 to run on these elements so let's see what that gives us now we have a pulsing blue bulb that has a nice glow effect on it now we're going to put in a keyframes animation for bulb pulse 2 which is going to take care of animating the green bulbs so you can see I have my green box shadow here for the green glow effect. And then all we have to do is put nth child even CSS rule to affect any even bulbs, which would be 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. So you can see this starts with the green background. The opacity by default will be 0.3. The box shadow by default will be none. And then we're going to specify bulb pulse 2 for those and all I have to do is I'm gonna just statically put in another div of bulb into the lights element and see what that gives us so now we have an alternating green and blue bulb now if I put another div in there it's going to be blue and then if I put a fourth div in there, that one's going to be green. So you can see how they'll alternate. Now, instead of rendering these bulbs statically, sometimes you might want to have dozens of them, or maybe even a hundred of them. And you wouldn't really want to manage all of those elements directly in the HTML. So what you can do is make it a little bit more dynamic. So I'm going to pop in a script element. And I wrote a tiny little for loop that's basically going to run 10 times and within this loop we're going to create element of div give it a variable name of bulb and then the very next line we say bulb dot class name is equal to bulb so we apply this class of bulb right here to every one of the bulbs that's rendered dynamically and then after that all we have to do is write document dot get element by id lights which is the main container here and actually let me go ahead and put this script outside of the lights container directly under it it might run inside of it but you just want to make sure that the lights div is loaded to the document before you run this script so we say document dot get element by id lights container append child bulb so append child is how you add an element dynamically to a container. Now I'm going to take the size down just a little bit, maybe 20 pixels each, and then let's see what that generates. We should have 10 bulbs that alternate between blue and green that are all animated and glowy. And there you go. So if I set this on 30 pixels each, you'll see they get a little bit larger. We make this 10 pixels each, they get smaller. And you can adjust the spacing by adjusting the margin. And what if I put this on zero degrees? They'll all be at an angle. Here, let me make these 20 again.
I'll just leave that on 45 so they're all straight up and down. Now since you're rendering all of these dynamically through script, you can play around with some randomization. You can randomize things within this script. So for instance, these two lines of code will create a variable named rand, which is a random number between 180 and 1. And then we're going to use that rand variable in the rotate CSS for the transform property for the bulb. So it's going to randomly rotate the bulbs. So see what that does? If I refresh, it's always randomized. So that's a pretty fun trick. And if you're good, you can also randomize the colors and make almost every aspect of this CSS dynamic in a sense. So I'll just comment that out. And you can use that if you want. But this is basically the finished effect that I wanted to show you. And it really wasn't too hard to do. So if I only want five bulbs, all I have to do is adjust the for loop ceiling just a little bit. And you can also center this lights div into the center of the page. So I can give this container style text align center this should center all of the bulbs. See now the bulbs are centered in the document. Or inside of its container. Okie dokie. So there you have it. You can get a lot more creative and add other kinds of effects. If you take a little bit more time with it. But I just wanted to really show you how to render the bulbs. Alternate them and get them to have a nice animated glowing pulsating effect. And once again, happy holidays to you and yours. And if you found any of this useful, share this video with your friends.